Oh, hey newcomer. This is our waterfall home. Do you want to come inside? I think mom's home. Sweet, let's get started. Oh, by the way, I, I'm glad you're alright. Mom said she tried to convince you to stay any way she could. I was really worried. But then I remembered how great you were at dodging. Is that a human thing? Dodging stuff? Well, you can tell me later. Hello? Oh, Asriel! Hey, Mom. My friend went to visit. Is it okay? Of course they can come in. Hey, this way's inside. Please, make yourselves comfortable. I'd love to, but I promise I'll do something with Kara. Is that so? Very well. Could you tell them to be careful? I will. Hope you guys have fun. <sighs> Why did you have to come to me again? Is this a rematch? No, it couldn't be. Did you change your mind about staying with us? Ah, uh, of course. My apologies. But why then? You clearly want to move on. But by coming back to me... Did you think I was lonely? Ah, uh, such a kind child you are. I suppose you think this is because of what happened on the cliff before. That is an accurate guess. Ever since Karen Asriel left... No, even before then. Our homes have been very, very quiet. I can't let them go back to the lab now, after what we saw then. <laughs> oh, oh no, I couldn't tell you. It's no story for a child. But even after all that, the greatest shock wasn't seen yet. It was how fast my children wanted to forgive him. There's no way I could do something like that so easily. And then they wanted to leave here? Hasriel was especially adamant with his training in Snowden. I know they didn't feel all right here and would be safe with the guard, but they're still so young. I gave in eventually, but... Oh my. It looks like I started rambling on without noticing. Excuse me, this is no way to treat a guest. Stay here as long as you want to. Make yourself comfortable. Please, look around all you want. Take a seat if you need to. I hope you are enjoying yourself. The view isn't especially exciting normally. However, the crystals are fantastic with lights shining on them. It has been a while since I played this. Kara was very eager to learn it. But they only learned one song before they left. It wasn't a long song either, but it did make Asriel happy. I hope they are practicing in Snowden. That's our bedroom. Not that we have been using it together. Either way, it's not somewhere you should snoop. Sorry, family only. We had that installed before Azriel was born. He wouldn't be able to master fire magic for a while, after all. But he could still learn to bake in the meantime. It's a blessing to be able to store food so easily. I still remember smoking freshly caught salmon on the surface. Uh, it would be nice to do it again with Karen Asriel. Perhaps one day. Good, good, I hope that seat is comfortable. Now, what would you like to drink? Let's see what I have here. Please, make your choice. Oh, you don't have to get up. Let's see, ah, here, use this to make your choice. Don't worry, it's not hot enough to catch anything here aflame. Ah, very funny. <clears throat> An old married woman like me isn't a drink, silly. Are you going for this joke again? The lemonade? Hmm, I wouldn't recommend it myself. Came from a box of packets that fell down here. There isn't anything bad about it necessarily, but it doesn't take as good as real lemonade. Also, if I recall, Kara poured in a lot of sugar. More sugar than powder, actually. I do hope they are brushing their teeth. It's not the best for you. Ah, that tea? I don't see why not. Wait, a moment? How old is this? 
It's full of little sprigs. Or was it supposed to be like this? Hmm, I don't recall. Better safe than sorry. This is why I stick with the classics. Only golden flower tea for me. The hot chocolate? All right. Oh, is it empty? What a shame. It must be from the last time he was here. Hmm. I need to get more marshmallows for it anyway. Hmm? I know humans don't drink those, silly. That one, are you sure? Very well. It should be cool from being in the fridge for so long. Somehow I am not surprised. It never sounded like a good drink. Must be left over from the last time si that is the king visited. <sighs> Around the time Azriel was born, I decided to join the royal guard. I felt like I should help everyone to the best of my abilities. He was such a... Sans was... He was a great person then. We could joke for hours, shooting back and forth puns. Gory would get stuck in the middle of it and laugh along. Such pleasant times. Back then, I truly believed he meant the best for everyone. Of course, I had no idea what his plan entailed, so I blindly followed it. I was so sure he would let the humans stay with him. It wasn't until one day when I went to the throne room to give my report. I came in early so I could make lunch for Azriel when I went back home. Sans doesn't wake up early so I could drop off the papers and leave. That was when I knew what his plan meant for those who fell down here. There was movement inside, so I peeked through the cracked door. The king was standing in the middle of the room, hand raised, and a human child suspended by their soul midair. My feet moved on their own as I dashed inside. I felt so betrayed, I couldn't stop yelling at him. A few fires flared around him. I couldn't let him run from what he did. Slowly, the human was set down on the cracked earth. He couldn't meet my eyes when he told me to take them away. I did so without he hesitation. As soon as we were out of the throne room, I looked over the child. Never before had I seen someone in such a poor state. If were not for their breathing, I would have thought I was too. But they were alive, much to my relief. I took them to Corey's lab immediately. They needed the attention. After some talk, we decided to take them in properly. Tell me, have they been well lately? Have they been eating well? Are they... Oh, of course they aren't lonely. Ever since we introduced them, Kara has always been taken by Azriel. It took a little while, but Azriel eventually returned the gesture. From that day on, they have been inseparable. They'd spent hours through the fallen items from the surface. The scarf Azriel has on actually fell down before. It landed on my friend outside my home. Kara took it, and after a few hours, it had its colorful design. Oh, how Azriel's eyes shined. I would do anything to see it again. And that's why, oh, how could I risk him getting hurt? He certainly has enough talent with magic to protect people. But if he ever fell down, my heart couldn't take it. So that's why I've tried to get him into baking more often. That way he can take care of himself when he goes on his own. Plus, his fire magic doesn't get rusty in case of emergency. <sighs> that being said, will it be enough? They haven't talked to me a lot since the incident. I wonder, did I, did I scare them off that day? I can only hope that it, it isn't true. Oh, have I been talking for too long again? My apologies. This is the second time today, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, I know. How about we make something nice to make up for it? I have been saving a recipe for a day like this. What do you say? Excellent! I already took care of the crust, so let's work on the filling. First, we will combine the wet ingredients. Heavy cream, water, and milk will be used here. Please make sure that not too much spills over. Well done! Now I'll add in the dry ingredients. Do you mind mixing it while I ready the heat? 
Ah, uh, we won't be using the stove for this. It tastes better with fire magic. Now worried, look. Don't worry. This house is fireproofed well. Now please, mix everything up thoroughly. Well done, well done. Now pour the mix into the crust and let it bake. Normally it would take a while with this heat. However, I've perfected cooking it fast with my fire. Why don't you wash the dishes in the meantime? Not too hard now. That's it. Hmm, well done. And it looks done now. All that's left is for it to cool down. You know, I never thanked you for coming over. The hunch you had before was m more true than I expected. It has been so long since there was more than just me here. <sighs> I try my best to temper my, well, temper. Most of the time it works well, but sometimes you see something that touches the wrong nerve. I'm sorry if I scared you before. There's no reason I couldn't try a kinder way. Good intentions only go so far. Something Gory knows well. Listen, Gor Asgore will be near Hotland's entrance. He means well. I swear on my maiden name. You may see someone that scares you. He will... He will protect you in my stead. I promise. To be caught up in such a mess. Luck isn't on his side, I suppose. And I couldn't... I couldn't be at his side to help him. Ah, uh, what a miserable situation. Dear one, I think it's time I make amends. Starting with those that ran from me. They might not be happy still, but I, but perhaps I can persuade them. A little sweetness goes a long way, after all. Again, thank you, my dear. If you need me, I will be at the Snowden home. I am certain that Azriel will stay by my side most of the time. Please, ring us up if you are feeling lonesome. It's only fair I return the favor, hmm? Take care, and good luck. Oh wow, that was a long episode. Took me about uh eight hours over the course of four days to work on it. Well, t to be fair, I, I I procrastinated a lot. So okay, I know because of all that uh he she pronoun nonsense that uh, Toriel did in the episode that I was too lazy or forgot to change. I I'm not even sure at this point. There's gonna be a lot of controversy down in the comment section. I'm sure of it. Uh, my feed's gonna be strained with dislikes for a while. It's, it's gonna suck. Sorry about these, uh, or disc credits in particular being a bit rushed. I'm kinda going through it really quickly because I gotta go somewhere really quickly. So yeah, I'm just gonna read it right now. So the comic was made by Vulture the Lively. As always, I did the editing. Uh, Toriel was voiced by Icy Goldengarn. Please check her out. She has a thing going on on her channel and you know, she, she did a lot of work, especially under uh, such a short amount of time. And Azra was, was voiced by Gavin Denny. Oh shit, I'm stuttering. This credits is already so cringy, it's just wow. Well, maybe leave a like and subscribe if you haven't, and have a mediocre Thanksgiving.